I reckon I'd, I'd probably cut to that. Da, 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 yeah, da, yeah, da. I'd probably use that. But, yeah, and, and it's just going to be a few seconds, four seconds, maybe three seconds, I don't know. It looks nice in but, that. Yeah, cool. good that. Yeah, nice. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Mike and this first episode is about lighting and filming a solo performance video. A well-lit three camera setup can work really well and I follow the simple rule of one wide, two close and three detail. This is not a three camera shoot but three times through with the same camera from different positions, known as PSC filming. PSC stands for Portable Single Camera. Cherie, the artist I'm working with here, has already been to the studio, recorded the tracks and she's ready to sync up to playback. <laughs> Here we are with a lovely Cherie Gears and we have a great location to do the filming. It's an empty space big enough to put my 4 metre track and position the lights comfortably. It's going to be a simple performance video, one person singing and playing the piano. So good lighting and creative manipulation of the camera movement will make the finished piece look a lot more interesting. For this I'm using my Sony PMW350, a set of three dado lights, a fluorescent key light, a simple dolly and track and I'm running a locked off Panasonic GH5 camera with the Lumix G Vario 7-14 wide angle lens to capture the scene. Once I've established Cherie in the right space and which direction she'll be facing, that's not to say we can't change this in subsequent shots as we actually do in this case. I'm just thinking what we're going to see. Well we've never seen this wall have we? So what we could do is we could uh, need to do with covering that plug off. We'll put, put that, see if we can cover that socket up. We can then start to position the track and lights. I usually start with a key light and put it in front, offset at one side and above Cherie to give some modelling to the face. The floor light gives a really nice soft light as the light source is large. Four tubes which reduce hard shadows. This is ideal for lighting people and complements skin tones. Then the backlight goes in behind Cherie using the burn doors to direct the light onto the head and shoulders. If this light is offset it can also act as a kicker which gives extra light to the side of the face. In this case Cherie's left side while still lighting the hairline and shoulders. Just these two lights can be all that's needed in some cases but as I want a softer more colourful look I'll put in a fill light on Cherie's left and quite low with a diffuser in front. This will further reduce the shadows from the key light then I'll use the third Dado light to project a lighting effect on the rear wall behind Cherie. In this case I'm using Dado's DP20 projection unit. I lay the track at an angle from Cherie's left to end just short of front facing. If this is done correctly, the point of focus will be exactly the same at the beginning of the track as it is at the end. This gives you one less thing to worry about, especially when you're working with wide open lenses. Cherie wants six songs on the promo so we did all the track shots together and then moved the camera to a new front facing position to get a really nice close up shot. I wanted a shallow depth of field on this so I moved the camera as far back as I could and moved Cherie and the keyboard about two feet further away from the back wall. This gave a greater distance to blur out the background as much as I could. The key and fill lights were also adjusted forward in line with the move. The gobo on the back wall was cheated a little to light the plants and create a nice shadow. Just sit down, should I? Just, I just want to just check we've got... How you do that to be this? Because we're not going to see... We're just going to see your hands in this, really. Uh, is that where that should be? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, we'll just keep it nice and tight on there. The last setup was for the hands-on keyboard shot. For this we had to turn the whole set round 90 degrees and use the back wall as if it were the right hand side of the stage, which of course we hadn't seen as that's where the track and camera were on the first shot. So moving the plants around and dressing it a little differently worked a treat. Right, okay. Shall we go for it? Yes. Uh, Do it again? Yeah. Oh, God, Right, I'm rolling. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that that was really nice at the end. Yeah. And I did a little move on it the towards the did finish. Yeah, yeah. It just looked really nice and you yeah. kind of settled and then it was like just like Oh cool. The note was like holding and it was like pulling like it that looked really good. Cool. Oh bro. Right, we'll we'll keep that then. I'd like to thank the very talented Cherie Gears and Carl for letting me use the footage for my channel. If you want to know more about Cherie, go to the link below and have a look and tell me what you think. So that's it for part one. In part two, I'll be looking at the edit on Premiere and the export. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping with us.